the House for five minutes. Without objection. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I come before the House tonight to celebrate the achievements of the UMA Clinic, Community Clinic. Upon the occasion of its 10th anniversary, the UMA Community Clinic is a community health facility that serves uninsured and impoverished families in my congressional district. The UMA Clinic was established by Muslim medical students at UCLA who wanted to put their faith and their patriotism into action by serving their community and their country. UMA is an acronym for the University Muslim Medical Association in Arabic the word UMA means community, an appropriate name for this extraordinary institution. The students who founded UMA were inspired by their Islamic faith, a faith which told them to help their neighbor, a faith which told them that if they saw something wrong, they must fix it. And today, the UMA clinic is fixing people's lives with its healing hands every day quietly and tirelessly. When the UMA Clinic opened 10 years ago, it was the first charitable medical facility in the United States founded by Muslim Americans at a time when Muslim Americans face unfair discrimination and scrutiny. The UMA Clinic allows Muslims to put their faith into action through service selflessness and compassion. The UMA Clinic provides Muslim Americans with an institution in which they can take pride, one that enriches the community with services that saves lives. The UMA Clinic serves as a primary health care source for over 15,000 children and adults in South Los Angeles, many of whom otherwise would have no access to primary health care services. It has a patient clientele from every conceivable faith, culture, and background. Over 95 percent of the beneficiaries of UMA services are not Muslim. UMA takes a comprehensive approach to health care. At the UMA Clinic, Patients can see a regular family doctor who knows them and who cares about them. They can return again and again to the same family doctor who helps them stay one step ahead of illness by encouraging them to eat properly and live a healthy lifestyle and making certain they all get uh, their physicals, vaccinations, lab tests, mammograms, and other health screenings. The OMA Clinic has received funding and support from several other organizations, including Kaiser Permanente, the California Endowment, and Islamic Relief. UMA has also become a committed advocate for the fundamental rights of all citizens to have access to quality health care services, regardless of their race, religion, or socioeconomic status. The UMA Clinic is one of the many ways that Muslim Americans serve their country. Muslim Americans have made contributions in many different fields. They are our clerks and laborers, our doctors and lawyers, our teachers and researchers. They work in our government and they serve honorably in our military. UMA represents the best of the Muslim American community. UMA embodies high ethics and moral standards and it was founded as a result of the obligation Muslim Americans feel to ensure the well-being of everyone in society. If you want to see what Muslim Americans truly represent, go to the UMA Community Clinic in my district and you will see it there. Charitable organizations like the UMA Clinic cannot solve the nation's health crisis alone, but their efforts are making an invaluable contribution by healing countless people who have been relegated to society's margins. I'm proud to congratulate the UMA Community Clinic upon its 10th anniversary for the critical health services it provides to the medically underserved in Los Angeles. I salute the UMA Community Clinic and all of the people who run it. And I salute the Muslim American community for making it possible.